Well, this is fun. Not petting fidget. What just happened? You may ask me, Alyssa, what just happened? And I would tell you, well, I was sitting at my computer fighting with Windows Movie Maker trying to make it recognize videos I just put on my computer from my camera when there was a great clap of thunder and an extremely loud pop and a flash of light from underneath my computer desk well underneath my drawer where I store my DSL modem <laughs> mm. I know that sound all too well because I have blown out no less than probably a dozen regular modems. Yeah, Fidget, I know you're there. Fidget is going a nuts. Wanting attention. I don't know why. I guess it's because of the rain that he's... Anyway. Blew that sucker out. And I called the uh, telephone company and talked to someone who didn't seem to think they knew what I was talking about at all and uh, thought it might be something else and I'm like lady oh fidget I said lady you know I have had modems blow out although this is my first DSL modem I have had other modems blow out and I pretty much know that sickening sound and it sort of lost my connection but she had me walk through some steps just to make sure that it wasn't something we could fix which I guess is a smart thing to do and sure enough just as I told her, just as I suspected, it was blown. So supposedly she's going to send somebody out today, which is nice, to replace it for me. And I guess check the damage, which I really hate because my room, it's a mess. It's cluttery. Ow, fidget! God! Those claws are razor sharp. But, um, my room is a mess and more than a mess it's that I have so much stuff in there and it's packed in tight it's packed in very very tightly yes fidget I suppose I'll hold you if you insist I insist pretty but then again it has to be done they they don't trust me to come and pick up a modem from them and come over here and put the three plugs in it that it requires in order to get it up and running so the last guy the guy that came out and installed it was pretty cute I must say I think he was married though he looked like the married type and he was freaked out by my skull. And no man that's freaked out by my skull is ever going to be right for me. My skull meaning the plastic medical model that I have. Which if you've paid, which if you've paid attention, you've seen. So, I relocated my, uh, myself and my lunch, which I, I just finished in my diet root beer relocated into the living room and I've got the phone at hand and I have put a DVD in the player and I just said thank God I got three DVDs from Netflix today actually it's four movies because one of them has two so I'm extra blessed so I'm sitting in here on the couch that I hardly ever sit on my sister and I got this couch for mom for Christmas because her old one was so gross and ratty and smelled and was horrible. Under one side it, ha it was so broken down that we had a tire underneath it to hold the seat up. It was it was pretty uh, pretty Sanford and Son, you know. So and I if I can get Fidget to allow me to use my hands. Fidget, what do I do with my glasses? There they are. I thought maybe I'd done a Fred Mertz and had them on my head. So. I 
I wish that some of you could come over and watch movies with me. I do. I have very quirky taste in movies, and um, and I really don't have anybody locally that appreciates them at all. Nobody likes my B movies, my weird stuff, my freaky shit. Um, here, I'll give you an example. I just started this DVD up. Let me see. Here, check it out. Are you kids? Make me sick. Oh, please, use my body to keep you alive. Drugs. Often the introduction comes in the form of a goofball. I may be a bitch, but I'll never be a butch. to watch The Amazing Transplant, which is a Doris Wishman movie by someone that gets a transplanted penis. It should be interesting. I'm sorry, I can't share this one with you. It's, it's got boobies in it and a transplanted penis. I wish I could share it. Yeah. 